What's up everybody, JJ here, and welcome back to the second day of the 12 Prints of Christmas. Yesterday we covered our weighted stocking hanger, and today we're gonna cover a pretty interesting technique with 3D printing, intentionally stringing your prints. So anyone who's done much 3D printing, especially you beginners, might still be struggling with stringing on your prints. Stringing happens when your print head is moving from one object to another, and a little bit of filament oozes out in between and leaves bits of filament dangling off the sides of your print. You normally really don't want this to happen, and a lot of fine tuning can go into removing stringing entirely. But today I'm going to cover a print that needs stringing to get the full effect of the print. We're going to print this stringing Christmas tree. I have listed a link to the original creator of this down below. I did not create this print. All credit goes to the original creator. It's kind of interesting how many tries it took to get really good looking stringing to happen. It feels like the opposite of what I've spent so much time tuning out of my printer, but now I want as much of it as I can get. But today I wanted to go through some of the important tips to get a good looking print for yourself. Because surprisingly, even though you want it to be kind of a mess, you want it to be an organized mess, and it really took me a good bit of fine tuning to get it looking just right. So some of my slicer settings to get this print looking just right, make sure you turn the cooling fan entirely off, turn retractions entirely off as well. I found increasing my print temperature does help a little bit. I normally print PLA at 200 Celsius. This one I bumped up to 210 Celsius. I also increased my outer wall flow from 100 to 110%. That'll put just a little bit of extra filament on the branches of the tree. Another big part of this is fine tuning your outer wall speed. You do have to really slow it down. 20 millimeters is what they recommend and that gives a nice full looking tree. You should also set your travel speed to match whatever your outer wall speed is so that it travels out and back to the trunk of the tree at the same speed. Another factor external to your 3D printer is the environment you're printing in. If you're like me and it's winter and you print in a basement, it can be pretty cold around your 3D printer. This works great with normal PLA prints where you don't want stringing, but in this situation, you want the branches to not cool very quickly. I found putting a space heater nearby the printer, make sure you don't turn it on too high, just I put mine at a medium setting. You're not looking for too much extra heat, then you'll get too much drooping. It's this fine balancing act you're really going for. Now let me show you some of the examples along the way. And here we are with some of the final prints. You can see my progression along the way. Luckily, they do have these smaller trees as little example models. These, I mean, they're still good looking trees. If I printed them with these settings, they would look a lot better than they do here. These were along the way. I wasn't getting enough stringing out of them. That's when I realized I think the room was too cold. That was definitely the problem I had with these bigger ones. As you can see from the top, these two sides had good stringing, but these two sides didn't have enough stringing. They were cooling way too much. And I think that's just from the airflow in the room hitting it in that way. Once I turned the heater on, I started to get these nice consistent results. I do think if I slowed the print down even more, these I printed with 50 millimeters per second outer wall speed. I think if I lowered that all the way to 20, like they recommend, it would be a much fuller tree. But with the video schedule of getting all 12 of these videos done, I think I'm just gonna have a, to leave them like this. And before Christmas, I can print a slower one that's a lot fuller. Another really nice feature that comes with this model is these included ornaments. They've got these little hooks on them. And so I printed out some red ones and they even come with a star you can put on top. And I think that's a really nice look. You could print these decorations out in whatever colors you want and it makes a nice little fun kit to decorate. Overall, I've really enjoyed these prints and hopefully these tips will help you create these amazing looking trees here and avoid some of the mistakes I had along the way. And that about wraps up day two of the 12 prints of Christmas. I think this is a really interesting technique that isn't fully utilized. And I've been thinking of other ways I could use it in other prints. The look of the print in the end doesn't look like every other 3D printed object. It really has a life of its own. But let me know in the comments down below if you think of any better use cases for this. And if you get any of the prints this week working for yourself, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. But anyway, that wraps up this video. Go out and print something amazing today, and I'll see you in the next one.